Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could set up automatic login for your Windows computer. Just keep in mind that if you have multiple users, um, it's going to automatically log in whatever user you configure with the app here. So the way it works is you just download the executable. It's a free download, just double click it. So the first time you run it, you might get a message from Windows saying, do you really want to run this program? Then you have to approve it. So of course, with anything on the internet, use at your own risk. All right, then you just put in the username for the account you want to use. So this one automatically populated it with the account that I'm logged in with, but there are two accounts on here. So you'll need to know the username, which you could find if you go to your C drive here, users, you'll get the name right there. So Cindy is the other user, and this is Todd S for Todd Sims. So that's how you find the username. Then put in the password that goes along with it. So if it's a Microsoft account, it should be the one for your Microsoft account that you used uh, to log in your computer with. Even if you're using a PIN, you'll still have to use your actual password. Okay, so click on OK. So it's enabled, and right now it'll give you a power option right away if you want to just uh, test it out. You don't have to, but I'll do a restart anyways just to prove that it works here. Okay, so you see it automatically logged in. We're starting Windows, and we're in. And of course, if you wanted to use the other user, you would have to log off or just you know log them both on at the same time from here. And then of course, if you want to disable it, just double click it again, click on disable. It'll give you the power option if you want to shut down again, which we're not going to. Now you can see that disable is grayed out, meaning that it's actually disabled. And then if you want to set it up again, you'll have to put in the password or choose a new user. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download this classic auto login tool, and then you could uh, configure your computer for automatic login. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.